Hey, what's up, hello? I am totally stealing Emma's opening line for her videos today because I just came back from a trip to visit my family and on the way home I stopped in at the store, um, a Gordman store, and I found this shirt that says, Hey, what's up, hello? <laughs> and I immediately purchased it, of course, in honor of the lovely Emma from Miss Emma Books. And just channeling her spirit today, I've got my angelic rune necklace on and actually did my makeup today, which is amazing because I never wear makeup. So anyway, I am hoping that I can be as joyful as she is in her video. Today I have a triple unboxing for you. I have the uh, Once Upon a YA book club box, the bookish box, and the owl crate for the month of July. And I'm very excited. Um, if you watched a couple of my past videos, you'll know that I went a little bit crazy with um, subscription boxes for the month of July, just trying out new ones and that kind of thing. So anyway, getting right into the madness here, we will start, I think we'll start with Once Upon a Young Adult Book Club because that was on the top of my pile. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, this one I haven't done before, but I have done the Once Upon a Book Club that since for adult books. Um, and not young adults. So I thought I'd try a young adult one. And if you don't know, this um, book club sends a book and then some goodies that you're supposed to open when you reach certain pages during the book. So I'm not going to be opening all of those things for you right now because I want to be surprised as well as motivated to continue reading the book as we go through. But I will show you what everything looks like in here. Oh, I see packages tumbling already. Ooh, don't fall. So when I went to the post office a few minutes ago to pick up my packages, uh, the lady at the post office had to pick up three or four different packages for me, and she dropped one of them, which was my bookish box, so I'm really hoping that nothing's broken in there. And I also hope she didn't drop this one as well, because she may have, like, I was talking to my friend who was behind me and trying to watch my packages at the same time, so she may have dropped all of them. Okay, excuse me while I move this box. All right, to the table. All right, now as I said, there are some things that I won't be opening right away because you're supposed to um, open them at certain pages in the book. But I will show you. This is the little um, catalog for the July box. And I'm not gonna look at that yet in detail because I don't want to spoil myself on anything because they might say some things here. All right, so I'll just show you some of the packages. This one we open on page 142. Now the wrapping on this letter, the envelope, makes me picture a certain book in my mind and I, I'm wondering if that's what we're gonna get. I, I guess we'll see. All right, I'm gonna try to do a better job of like putting things up on the shelf behind me as I show them when I do unboxings just because I have seen a couple of other booktubers doing that and I think it's a great idea so people can still see what you have shown them. This you open when you get to page 70 and it feels like a tumbler or drink container of some kind. Cute little blue polka dots. Lots of blue things in here. Oh, we've got an octopus sticker on this box for page 118. That didn't go well. Let's try this again. Stand up, little box. All right, we've got another package for page 343. Now this feels kind of soft in here. I'm not sure what it might be. I don't think it would be like a t-shirt, but something kind of soft in there. Oh, I just saw the book and it's the one I thought it was gonna be and I'm really excited. Okay, but first, we have this lovely print. The deeper in the ocean a creature lives, the more likely it is to be strange, totally different from other life. This is where we find our monsters. And that is a quote from Carly Sorosiak, I think is how you say her, Sorosiak. And she is the author of Wild Blue Wonder. Now I've heard a couple of people talking about this who went to BEA and BookCon and Somebody had mentioned that this is, um, the lady who's behind the Owlcrate boxes just raved about this book and said it was one of the best books that she's read in her life. Um, 
So just to give you a little bit of information about this book, it says there are two monsters in this story. One of them is me. Ask anyone in Winship, Maine, and they'll tell you the summer camp Quinn's family owns is a magical place. Paper wishes hang from the ceiling. Blueberries grow in the dead of winter. According to local legend, sea monsters even lurks off the coast. Mostly there's just a feeling that something extraordinary could happen there. And I'm not going to read the rest of the, the synopsis for you. I'm just going to give you that little teaser. And But I will say that there is a new boy in town situation in this book, which is kind of fun. And... As usual, we got a signed book plate, which is always fun to just stick inside the book there. Okay, so that is it for the Once Upon a Young Adult Book Club box. So I'm going to read this book and then open the little goodies that go with it as I read. And I can tell you from my experience with the adult version of this box, I have always been very pleased both with the book and with the items that they have sent. They're just lovely, and I've had many freak out moments as I've opened up the gifts. I should probably vlog that experience, but I just, I don't want to because I'm in the moment of reading and just, I can't. Maybe someday I'll have the patience. All right, moving on. All right, up next we're going to open the bookish box. Now this is the one that I know for sure got dropped at the post office, so fingers crossed that everything is intact and unbroken in this box. I never know what the theme is for this. I could follow them on Instagram and all of that stuff. In fact, I do think I follow them on Instagram, but I never look at the theme spoiler things if they give those out or share them because I just like to be surprised. So here we go again. My, my. Has anyone ever, have any of you guys seen the uh, second Mamma Mia movie? I went to see it over a week ago, and I still can't stop singing these ABBA songs in my head. Anyway, random sidetrack. Here we go with the bookish box. Okay, Into the Forest. The quote that goes with this is, The clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness by John Muir. John Muir is... Uh, the Muir Woods are named after him, and I've been to the Muir Woods in Sausalito, which is just off of San Francisco. If you go across the um, Golden Gate Bridge and you go around and down into these hills, you can go into this redwood forest called the Muir Woods, who are named after John Muir. I'm 99% sure that's the same guy that we're talking about. Anyway, moving on to what's inside the box. Let's get this sitting on my little table here. All right, so the first thing I see is this loveliness. What in the heck? There's something inside the cup too. What in the world? <laughs> okay, I just saw the logo on the cup and for funds, oh my gosh. Okay. Camp Half-Blood. And then on the Pegasus it says Seaweed Brain. Oh. I never got finished with the Percy Jackson series, but I do like Rick Riordan's writing, and I really love the Trials of Apollo series that he has written. It's hilarious. Oh, so much fun. Okay, now what is this? Oh, I know what these are. Harm Crisps. Um, I found out these actually from my mom. She gets them to put on like salads and then tomato soup and things. They're little snacks that are 100% uh, cheese parmesan cheese so if you want a little snack without eating potato chip there you go and there's something else inside this cup as well Whoa. oh it's broken now i am not going to blame the bookish box people at all for this item being broken i am totally going to say that this happened when the lady at the post office dropped the boxes and it's not really her, her fault either I had way too many packages and I'm not mad at her just I know sometimes these things happen and it's sad but you know life happens and yeah we'll just move on so this is a cute little cuff bracelet um if it had not broken it would look like this and it says adventure is out there it's very cute, and I wish that I could wear it. We'll see if super glue can do any good, or Gorilla Glue, or something like that. All right, we're gonna toss out some. Oops, 
We're going to toss out some crinkle crap. One landed on my sock and I had to get it off right away because if those things stick to your sock, they are never coming off. It's ridiculous. Okay, what is this? Floral and milk bath salts by Cherry Pit Crafts. Look at that. I'll turn it around so you can see the actual salts more clearly. That's pretty. All right, now I told you I was gonna try to set things up on the shelf and I already forgot. So let's put up the cup and the bath salts. I am a major fan of bath salts and bath bombs and all kinds of fun things like that to make your bath time more fun and enjoyable. Oh, okay, so here I see a magnet and it says Shadow Falls on it. And it says it's designed by the Bookish Box. So it's an exclusive to their company item. That's really pretty. I've got magnets all over my fridge at home and all over my fridge at school, but you can always use one more. There's still empty space there. All right. Now we have a cloth item. I don't know if this is gonna be a tote bag or, yep. Yes, it is a bag. Take a look at that. Enemies of fairness and equality, hear my womanly roar. The Pawnee goddesses. What? I'm trying to... Oh, inspired by Parks and Rec. I don't watch that show, but I love this quote. I've never watched Parks and Rec. Is it good? If you have ever seen it, please tell me yes or no. Should I... Watch that show. I know Amy Poehler's in it and she's funny. Oh, guess what? The book in this box. Wild Blue Wonder. <laughs> that is totally okay with me. All right, I am really not doing well at this displaying items thing. All right. That is totally okay with me to have a double of that box and I'll, uh, that book and I'll tell you why. Because if I love it, and which I'm sure I will, and if I feel like it's good for my students to read, I can have one copy for me at home and one copy for them. If I feel like it's not okay for my students to read because they are still in middle school, some things just are too much for them, then maybe I will do a little giveaway or something. Um, I will definitely let you know in the future if I plan on doing that after I've read the book and assessed whether it will work for my classroom. Okay, fun. And then, of course, at the bottom of the box, we have the calendar for August. They always send you a calendar a month ahead of time. And this one is quite lovely. It's also magical. And it says Jasmine from Disney's Aladdin. Does she say that? It's also magical? I guess she does. I haven't watched Aladdin in forever. But anyway, there's a lovely calendar. And... Oh, they've got information about the Bookish Box Photo Challenge, as well as the coloring card with the theme on it. These are so much fun. You can display them just black and white pretty like they are, or you can color them. They're really fun. Oh, and then they just have a little bit of information about the Parm Crisps that were in the box. They are keto friendly, so if you are on a keto diet, you can still have these and not worry about it. And they've got different flavors like Original in the blue, um, this is, I can't read backwards that small, sesame, and then jalapeno. I am not a fan of anything jalapeno, but I've tried the original ones before, and they are fun. And my favorite is in tomato soup, which is not going to happen in the summertime. So I'll need to find something else to be able to use them before they're stale. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pack this back up, and we'll... Be right back with an owl crate. All right, here we go for the owl crate box. Now, I really, really think that I know what the book is going to be in here. And if it's the one that I think it is, I'm going to be so happy. I might freak out. I'm just warning you. This particular book, and I don't want to say yet in case I'm wrong, I have been dying to read since I even heard about it. And I, oh, I, I shall not say any more for the moment. Because when I was in Utah on my way home, I was in Target and they had that book and I made myself wait to see if it was going to be in the outright. So please let it be it. Please, 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 please. 
Oh, deep breaths. Okay. Oh, come on, box. All right, here we go. What is that? All right. So on the lovely card, which they always have lovely cards, we see some one doing tarot cards, it appears to be. Let's dive into the box and see what we've got here. Crinkle crap. All right, now I'm seeing a cute pennant here. This is Stay Peculiar. How fun. That's really cute. I like things like this that you can hang up that are different than just plain art prints because then you, if you have a wall of bookish things, you can mix in a different shape there and just kind of play around with the aesthetic. So that will be really fun to do some decorating with or whatever I choose to do. All right, then I see the owl crate pin which always matches the theme card. And we've got the skull there on the table with the candles. Oh. Now there was, um, we were told that there was going to be an officially licensed item from Stranger Things in this box. And looky here, it's Eleven. She's so cute. I love Stranger Things. Everybody loves Stranger Things though, don't they? If you haven't watched it, get on Netflix and watch it. It's so good. And Eleven, she's just a great character. I really, really like her. I'm just digging this right out of the box right now because I want it out. Hooray for girls with short hair. And she's got her waffle. <laughs> I love it. Okay, see I told you I was going to be bad at remembering to put things up here. Sure enough. There we go. I Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try hard to do better. What on the... What? Okay. These are push pins in the shape of skulls. <laughs> That's awesome. You can never have too many push pins. I have oodles of push pins at school. I am not taking these to school though. The kids will steal them. I'm gonna let them use the boring ones. Keep these ones for me. Very fun. I'm gonna turn it like that so it'll stand up. Eleven. Eleven doesn't want to stand up. I should have left her in the box, maybe. Okay, Eleven's going to take a nap while we continue this unboxing. And I see something that looks rather curious. What? Mystifying mints. And it's styled like a Ouija board, which is not my favorite thing in the world. I'm not a believer in the use of Ouija boards, but... Since this isn't actually a Ouija board, it's a mint tin. I think it's okay. Okay. Next thing, I'm just kind of feeling around. Ooh. What? Okay, I'm going to take this out of the package so we can inspect this together. The head is 100 wise. Two wise, not 100 wise. The head is two wise. The heart is all fire. It's like a little hard sided clutch wallet thing. So it's got the flaps for your cards. It, and I just dropped the strap. And you could stick your phone in there, tuck it in really nice, and little coin purse thing. Oh, excuse me. All right, so this is inspired by the Raven Boys, and it is designed by Reverie and Ink. The Raven Boys is one that I have struggled to get through. I started the first book thinking, it's Maggie Stiefvater, it's going to be amazing, and it just didn't click with me right away. I was struggling to pick up the concepts, and so I didn't continue reading the series. But I do feel like books deserve a second chance, and I do have a reading challenge that I'm doing this year that requires you to read a book that you started but didn't finish. So perhaps that will be the one that I do. And then I will understand this quote more clearly. It's pretty anyway. Okay. I think we're getting down to the book. 
I'm so nervous because what if it's the not the book that I really really wanted and I've driven all this way home and not bought it I'm nervous okay so we've got a couple other things before the book though we've got this cute Luna sticker that says you're just as sane as I am <laughs> I love Luna so much I'm currently listening to Harry Potter number six the Half-Blood Prince and Luna is a is she a major character or sure we'll just say she's a major character in that one because she does show up a lot and she's super fun I have Luna glasses too I ordered some officially licensed Luna glasses just on the spur of the moment thing because I got bored one day bad idea to get on Amazon when you're bored I'll have to show these off with the sticker okay we also have an art print which is a whale with lovely books and a teapot and different things on his back. And he looks like a nice friendly whale. I shouldn't assume his gender. Maybe it's a girl whale. Maybe she is a nice friendly whale. That's lovely. Let's see what who designed this. The art print by uh, um, Julie Riddle. And it says, strange and unusual doesn't always mean spooky. And I totally agree. I mean, who of us wouldn't laugh and take loads of pictures if we saw a whale swimming around with books and tea things? Very nice. Okay. Now, I think we're really down to the book. Don't fall. Okay. We're really down to the book now. And I'm going to close my eyes because this is just giving me anxiety. Is it the book that I want? Is it the book that... Yes, it is! Oh, okay. I have been wanting this book for so long. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, who wrote My Lady Jane, which was hilarious. They take a spin on historical things, or in this case, a classic literature, and do funny things with them, and they're awesome. I cannot tell you how happy I am to this book. Oh. I just, uh, I don't know. Um, I am an Epic Reads Insider, which means that every week I get five chapters from a book that they are highlighting and get to read the first five chapters there and see if I like the book or not. And when I read these, I couldn't stop. You get one day when you're part of first five. And by Friday, I was like, where's the chapter? Where's the chapter? And I have to tell you, in one of the um, early bits, there is a funny um, reference or allusion made to Outlander because there is a trio of characters named Claire, Frank, and Jamie. And I was busting a gut when I read that part. And I just, I cannot wait to read this. And it's signed by all of the authors. Yay! I might have to buy another copy of this for my classroom because I'm sure that I'm going to be telling my students about this. This is what it looks like naked. Lovely purple with silver letters. And if you don't know, this is a spin of Jane Eyre and it involves ghosts too. So it's kind of like Ghostbusters-ish added to Jane Eyre. And Jane is teaching at the school where she grew up and she can see ghosts. And unfortunately... The headmaster has been murdered in the very beginning of the book and he wants these famous ghost hunters to come and solve his murder and nobody cares that he's dead except for himself. Um, but the ghost investigators think that they, I think they know that she can see ghosts or maybe not really anyway, but she hasn't got to Mr. Rochester yet, but she is looking for uh, an opportunity to be a governess so I am really excited for seeing how this all plays out. And Jane Eyre is such a perfect story to add ghosts to anyway, so yeah. If you haven't read Jane Eyre, go read it and then read this book and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I just, I don't even know what else to say because I am in love with this book. I don't know if I can even let myself read it because it will be over. <sighs> Struggles. Okay, I've got to set it down. All right. Sit there. Okay, so with this, oh my goodness, okay. So Alcrate always sends a dear reader letter from the author, and in this case, authors, 
And it, do, it says, Dear Elk Crate readers, Hi, us, the Lady Janies. Did you miss us? We're back with another Jane story. This one has absolutely nothing to do with the last one, except it's about a Jane, and it's funny. And the cover features a girl looking over her shoulder. We have a type, okay? Why Jane Eyre? Well, Jane and Charlotte Bronte, that is, were pre-Victorian BFFs, and since the three of us are besties, I made it made sense for us to write about the magic of friendship. Plus, it turns out the entire novel of Jane Eyre was actually a cover-up for some ghost business. We weren't throwing away that shot. Anyway, we have to go write more books. Farewell for now. We have the honor to be your obedient servants, the Lady Janies. Now that also reminds me that Charlotte Bronte is a character in this book, which is super fun. She is so nosy and wanting to be a writer and just wanting to know everything, which, you know, writers should be nosy. I am. All right. So there's that letter. Now there's this. This says, Contest Alert. Post your finished diorama to Instagram using OC My Plain Jane for your chance to win a free Alcrate box. Contest Alert. What? Oh, so this is Thornfield Hall, and it's a fold out thing. You can make a diorama of Thornfield Hall, and I'm assuming that you would color it or maybe use watercolors over it or something to make it look pretty and decorate it up with some Instagrammy wordy kind of things and possibly win a box. That sounds like so much fun. I need to think of a good approach for this because if I'm going to do it, I'm going to try to do it well. All right. So that out crate box was loaded with stuff. That's so much fun. I, I can't even begin to say how pleased I am with all three of these boxes. And I am so, so excited for both of the books that I received. I am really excited to read both of them. And I will, yeah, I will try to keep you posted on what I've been reading lately. So there we go. Um, favorite items this time? Um, I would have to say Once Upon a Way, but Club so far, it's the book because it's so pretty and because I don't know what any other items are yet, <laughs> but we will see as I read the book. Um, and the bookish box, hmm, maybe the bath salts because baths are such wonderful things. And then in Owl Crate, do I even have to say? Obviously, it's the book. If I was going to pick something other than the book, though, maybe the Luna sticker or the pendant. I don't know. They're, they're all really good items. You guys have done fabulously well. Thank you so much to all of these companies for the wonderful work you do. I am not paid by any of them or asked by any of them to review these boxes. I pay for them myself, and I just share with all of you because I like to share good things. So... I hope that you have enjoyed this unboxing. I will definitely have more um, here pretty soon because, as I said, I've got quite a few boxes coming in the month of July. Yikes. So, <laughs> anyway, I am going to go do something useful with the rest of my day. Or just sit around and read one of those two. I hope you have a wonderful and bookish day. As always, happy reading. Adios.